Hi and welcome to Folkway Lodge. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Speedy Stitcher Sewing Awl. So let's get started. Here are the materials needed. The Speedy Stitcher body with a straight needle, an extra crooked needle, a cap, the bobbin that holds the thread, an extra roll of one millimeter waxed thread, and the end cap. For protection, we're going to be using a soft cork board to press the needle into so that we don't damage the surface we're working on. Now take your bobbin with a thread wrapped around it and place it through the center of the body of the stitcher out the hole on the side. Place the bobbin inside the stitcher so that it will unravel when you pull on the thread. Now place the end cap back on. Take your thread, feed it through the groove of the speedy stitcher and out the hole in the front. Now place your straight needle in, aligning the groove on the needle with the groove of the speedy stitcher itself. Now replace your cap, feeding the thread through the center. Be careful not to pinch the thread when you screw on the cap. Pull on the thread to make sure it unravels from the bobbin and moves freely. Now take your thread, pass it through the eye of the needle. See how the thread presses right into the groove of the needle. Pull your thread back so you have about a half inch coming out of the eye of the needle. But first I'd like to note that for larger projects, the small bobbin doesn't hold as much thread as you usually need. So I like to use the entire roll Feed that through the center of the speedy stitcher as so. Now we have as much thread as we need. For this demonstration, we'll be using a small, thin piece of leather. You're going to want to press the needle through your starting point so the thread passes through and you want to pull enough length for your entire project. Pull the needle back out and it should look like this. Now press the needle through again at whatever your determined stitching gap will be. Press it all the way through and then slowly pull the needle back to reveal a loop on the side of the needle opposite to the groove. Now take your thread and simply pass it through the loop. Pull your needle back out and pull the two threads tight to lock your stitch. Now we simply repeat this process for your entire project. stitch, you need to lock the stitching so that it doesn't come loose. You're going to press the needle in one last time, and when you form your loop, instead of pulling the needle out, you're going to take the loop and pull out as much excess as you can, at least a few inches. Now take some scissors, cut the thread close to the needle side. Now you can pull your needle out and set aside. On your last stitch there, you should have two threads on the same side, right next to each other. One simple way of finishing your threads is to tie a knot, like a square knot. My personal favorite method, that works for most projects, they call a weld. You take your scissors, and you trim each thread so that about three millimeters is sticking up from your material. Now 
to take a lighter and burn each thread one at a time, you'll see it start to melt. You quickly press your finger down to smoosh it into the material. It creates sort of a rivet. And that's all there is to it. Leave any questions you have down in the comments section. Thanks for watching.